TV, we have got another epic episode of the Turn It Up series Ooh. ready for you today. Come on. Yeah, today's going to be so great, but make sure you listen out for the Turn It Up siren. It can happen at any moment. Wait, what? What? No, 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 no. Hey, well, why don't we check out some of our stickies? That super cool stuff makes me want to stick around. Megs and Shares are back with some more shenanigans, or should we say Shares Magsigans? We're gonna turn this place into a praise party. The silly sock stories are back. And Justice is bringing the word. Man, it sounds like it's gonna be an epic day, but right now it's time for praise. So let's jump to our feet. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Shaz. And I'm Max. And here we are for your pre praise work out. All right, today we're learning the salmon. Here we go. Right hand down, left hand down and jump. Ooh. Jump. Right hand down, left hand down and jump. Jump. Oh, I'm feeling the burn. Oh, me too, Shaz. Oh. Oh. I think we're ready for praise. Oh. Oh. seems gone you bring light in the evening before morning comes this feeling completely surrendered and yours forever no ceiling heaven is open i'm yours forever you have one it all Take it all, every single part belongs to Nothing better, better than being with you. There's nothing better, better than being with you. There's nothing better.
Yeah. Jeez, look what it's just popped up onto my phone. Yeah. See, I was watching the YouTube and this ad comes up 50% off at the Niki store. So what's Niki? Niki. Yeah. You know, the cute little active wear with the tick. Just oh, do doll, it. that's actually Nike. Yeah, that's Nike. how you say it. Oh, yeah. that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Nike. Well, 50% off. Oh my gosh, gotta look at this. No, we've gotta go. I just have to get the newest gear. Oh yeah, we should definitely go right All now. Right. Should we take my car or should we take your car? I think we should take my car because my car is a Nissan Sport oh. and we're getting sports gear and that's very appropriate. You're so clever, Shaz. <laughs> All, right, All right, you grab the keys. Yeah. Hey, Shaz. Can yeah. we do some warm-ups because it's going to be pretty crazy in the store. Oh yeah, lots of girls fighting over little deals yeah. and stuff. Yeah, good. So for the let's start by stretching our hammies. All right, stretch it. What are you doing, doll? I'm stretching the hammies. Oh, sorry, doll. I thought you said hammies, but no. yeah, stretch those hammies because we want to grab those deals oh, real you quick. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so good. Ooh. All right, get those keys. All right, doll. Yes, yeah, Shaz. I can't find the keys. What do you mean, Shaz? Help, help me look. Help oh. me look. Jazz. Yeah? What is this for? Oh, that's my mayo doll. Why do you carry around? Well, it's just in much. case I find a, a lone hot dog and just want to have a little bit of a munch. Oh, mayo and hot dog, yes, please. <laughs> oh, Jazz. Yeah? What is this? Oh, it's my happy fern. You're yeah, what? whenever I feel a little bit sad and I don't have my praise music, I get my happy fern out and I talk to it and make myself feel a bit happy. But, Jazz. Yeah. Your happy fern, yeah. You've got you. one last thing. It's yeah. Oh, that's my sun sombrero. It's my sunbrero. In case the sun comes out. How yeah. did that even fit in here? Oh yeah, well I love my handbag. It's got lots of space in it, but that's why I can't find the keys. Okay, we need keep looking. All right, what are we gonna do? Right now it's time for the word, and so you're gonna need your Bible, your pen, and your notebook. And let's get ready to lean in engage because I believe that God wants to speak to us today. In fact, I'm believing that this message is a word in season for us right now. If you're taking notes, I want you to write down the title of this message, Praise is a Key to Breakthrough. That's Praise is a Key to Breakthrough. In fact, I would love it if you could repeat it with me. Praise is a Key to Breakthrough. Amazing. Well, I'm going to quickly pray and then we're gonna get into it. God, I just thank you as we come around your word today that you would come and speak to us and help us to understand it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Have you ever had a moment where you thought you were all alone and so you sung as loud as you could because no one could hear? Man, there are so many times where I'll go for a walk, I'll put my headphones on, I'll put my music really loud and I will sing at the top of my lungs because I can, because no one's there. I don't know if you've ever done that, but you are lying if you say that you don't sing in the shower because we're all human and we all do it. In fact, I feel like that's probably where I sound my best. But actually, there's two people in the Bible, Paul and Silas, and um, they got put into a really tough situation and their first reaction was to sing. They decided to sing and there were a whole bunch of people that were around them that actually heard it as well and were impacted as well. And so we're gonna read this story so if you've got your Bible with me today, we're going to turn to Acts chapter 16, verse 22, and we're going to read it together. It goes like this. The crowd joined in the attack of Paul and Silas. After they had been beaten badly, they were put in jail, and the jailer was told to guard them carefully. The jailer did as he was told. He put them deep inside the jail and changed their feet to heavy blocks of wood. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing praises to God while the other prisoners actually listened. Suddenly, a strong earthquake shook the jail to its foundations. The doors opened and the chains fell off the prisoners. Let's just backtrack that for a minute. So there are these two guys, Paul and Silas, and they had been sharing the gospel and sharing the word and they actually came across a woman who was in need. And so they prayed for her and they set her free. But there were a bunch of people that didn't like what they did and so they took them to the authorities where the authorities beat them, hurt them and chucked them in jail. Not just any jail cell but the inner cell. See back in the olden days the inner cell was dark, it was, there was no light, there was no window so you couldn't open it for fresh air and I don't know about you but if I was in their position I don't think that singing would be my first reaction. In fact, you would probably find me in the corner crying somewhere because I do not like the dark. But 
what they did, and this is powerful, is they, they had got chucked into a prison cell for something, for doing something good. And, and they lifted up praise before doing anything else. They didn't complain. They didn't argue. They actually lifted up praise. And what happened is as they began to sing, the other prisoners in the other cells actually heard them. And they lifted their praise and they began to sing and they began to pray. And suddenly an earthquake shook and all the doors of the jail cell went open and the chains of the prisoners broke off. Man, I just love this Bible story so much. And what I love about it is that even when things got hard, even when the circumstance looked impossible to overcome, Paul and Silas remained faithful in God. They lifted their praise. And we just need to remember that praise is the key to our breakthrough. You may have noticed, but we've got this big mat right here. Let me tell you something. When I was a teenager and I used to go out with my friends on the weekends, we used to go bowling, we used to go to Macca's. I would get home pretty late, around like nine, 10 o'clock. So that was pretty late. And so my mum, what she did was she left a key to the front door underneath the mat so that I could get inside. You know, there were some times where she forgot to leave the key under the mat and I was stranded outside and it was just not a good time. But she used to leave a key under the mat so that I could get inside. And in the same way, God leaves a key for us. And that key is praise. And do you know what it does? It actually unlocks our breakthrough. And you know, we could either leave it under the mat and be left alone and, and not do anything about it, or we could pick up the key, pick up that praise, and unlock our breakthrough. I love that Paul and Silas chose not to dwell on the negative, but to actually lift up praise. You know, praising God is saying, God, you are bigger than my problems. And their praise brought a supernatural miracle to a natural circumstance. And I'm believing that God wants us to be people who continually choose to praise over and over and over again. When things get hard, I will choose to praise. When I feel discouraged, I will choose to praise. Even when I feel like I can't do it, I will choose to praise. Then when the situation looks hard to overcome, I will choose to praise. When our praise turns up, God turns up, even in the most unlikely situations. Now, wherever you are, I would love for you to jump to your feet so I can pray with you. I would love to pray that we would know that God is bigger than our problems and, and God is bigger overall and that we would always choose to praise because He is always with us. Should we pray? Why don't you close your eyes? God, I just pray that we would know that you are bigger than our problems and that we would always continue to choose to praise. We thank you that you always have our back and you are always with us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So cool. Well, I'd love to pray for another group of people. And you know, I told the story about Paul and Silas, but there's a part of the story that I actually missed out. See, the jailer, he was outside the jail cell and when all the doors opened, he was scared that he was gonna get in trouble. He ran to Paul and Silas and he knelt before them and said, what must I do to be saved? And Paul and Silas actually led him to Jesus in that moment. And what I love about that is that maybe you're in this room and you're saying, what must I do to be saved? Well, friend, let me just tell you that you just have to ask Jesus into your heart. See, 2000 years ago, God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sin. And because of that, we can have a relationship with him. See, he is my best friend and it is the best relationship you could ever have. And so if you would love to call him your best friend for life, if you would love to give God the key to your heart, then wherever you are, why don't you lift your hand just to you and the people around you. Awesome, so cool. Well, we're gonna pray a prayer. I'm gonna say a line and I'd love it if you could repeat it after me. Cool. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving me and for giving me life. I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong. Please forgive me and take away the sin that blocks me from you. I believe in you. Be my Lord, be my best friend, now and forever, amen. Amazing. Just remember that praise is the key to our breakthrough. Doll, can you see it? I can't see it. What are you gonna do? All I can do is smell the mayo. Oh, I love mayo. Oh, oh. Shaz, yeah. what we've got to do is we've got to retract your steps, or, or is it subtract? Subtract your subtract steps. Subtract my steps. No, my step pen's going really well. I don't want to subtract my steps. No, no, Shaz, like, 
um, like a reversal. Oh, retrace your steps. Oh, retrace. Like go back over the day? Yes. All right, okay, All right. well I woke up and I was like, hello world, yes, that's me. Yes. And then I had my morning smoothie because that's very important. Go get very that smoothie important. goodness in ya. Then I took my cat for a walk at the dog park. Oh, how is Mitzi? Oh, she's so cute as ever. Oh my oh, goodness, I love Mitzi to Bitsy. All right, and then I came home and I had a little bit of a praise party, my praise oh. jiggle, my praise jiggle, my... Shaz! Is the key. I think praise is the key. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you know, we're geez, saved. Yeah. I feel it's so tired. I think we should just maybe shop online. Yeah, I don't think we need to go out, do oh, we? No. Let's yeah. get up the Nike store and yeah. take a look at what we're Oh, Ooh, I like that one. That's cute. Oh, yeah. A massive congratulations if you just said yes to following Jesus. We are so excited for you and have three simple steps you can do to help grow your relationship with God. That's right. And the first one is tell someone. Make sure you let someone in your world know, whether it's your parents, your life group leader, your dog, your cat, your fish. Let someone know. It's such a great decision that you've made. <laughs> That's so awesome, Amy. <laughs> the second thing you can do is you can read your Bible. The Bible is the word of God written down for us. You can either get a paper version or an electronic version. Make sure you ask your parents. So good. And the third thing that we would love you to do is pray. Prayer is simply having a conversation with God, telling him how your day was, telling him what's going on with your world and, and just growing in your life with Jesus. That's so cool. Well, a massive congratulations again and we'll see you soon. Hey, Zokra. How did you find the fire safety training today? Ah, uh, it was so great, so informative. It's important to stay safe with fire, you know? A hundred percent, Sokra. A hundred percent. Hey, uh, Sokra. Yeah? What's the most important part of fire safety? Mm, I reckon, call the fireman. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the most important part of fire safety. Ah, oh, I don't know, Sokti. Well, when you see a fire, don't forget you have to <laughs> sock, drop and roll. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I thought it was eat sausage rolls. No, no, no. Oh, speaking of that, you're getting me hungry now. But uh, no, it's sock, drop and roll. Ah, uh, you mean stop. Stop what? No, stop. Yeah, no, stop what? No, not stop, stop. Oh, stop, sock and roll. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for the memory verse. Get to your feet. Let's go. Psalm 150, verse 1 to 2, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8. Shout praises to the Lord. Praise God in His temple. Praise Him in heaven, His mighty fortress. Praise our God, His deeds are wonderful, too marvellous to describe. Oh, that was epic. I reckon it's time to turn it up, Annalie. All right, see if we can swap places with someone. Hey, let's go. Psalm 150, verse 1 to 2, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8. Shout praises to the Lord, praise God in His temple. Praise Him in heaven, His mighty fortress. Praise our God, His deeds are wonderful, too marvellous to describe. It's time to freestyle. Hey. hey, well, how good was today? I don't know about you, but... Hey, can you... Can you hear that? Yes, I think it's the turn it up siren. <gasps> Praise break. Ah! Yes, I love Max and Shaz. They are I so funny. I've sort of been 
hoping I'll run into them at the gym sometime. That'd be yeah. quite good. That'd be quite good. <laughs> oh, but right now it's time for our <gasps> shout outs. Well, this is the part of the show that we want to give a massive shout out to someone who's been watching a Rise Kids TV and has taken a picture and this is us as evidence. That's right. And today we're giving a massive shout out to Joel Lee from oh. the Hunt Valley campus. A massive shout out to you. Now, Joel said that he wishes he wishes that we would make more Arise Kids TV episodes. And the good news is this, Joel, we are. Every week we release <laughs> a new right. one, so you praise the bonanza. No big deal, guys. We're just out here answering <laughs> That's all good. That's how we do it. Oh, it's so good. Well, make sure that if you would like a shout out, that you email us, kids at arisechurch.com. Send us a photo of you watching. We'd love to hear from you. Yes, yeah, so cool. But tune in next week. Share the link. And we'll see you next time. See ya! Bye.